we can see how does these different applications communicate like for a web page how is a re request from a browser sent to a website and the website server responds to the request by fragmenting the packets and then reassembling it for the ease of looking at the packets or trying to look at the information that is available in the packets what i will do here is i'll add a filter here which will allow us to only see packets of websites so now what we see here is our different packets that are responsible for a website's communication to happen so further we'll be learning about protocols like http and tcp and how they enable these websites to exchange information so while i'm doing this what i'll do is i'll open up google chrome so this is the dummy website so as i click here what we see on Wireshark is a lot of other packets are being captured here. Now, all these captures are relevant to the website's traffic that was just requested by, the, by us on the browser. So the HTTP is the, the hypertext transfer protocol, which is responsible for the communication between a browser and a web server. So let's click on this. So what you see here are different layers of this communication or this piece of communication which we call packet so you'll come to know more about packets in the further course now what we see here is different layers of this communication now each packet is actually divided into different layers so you have physical data link layer then you have network layer and the transport layer so here what we see is the different information that is relevant to each layer like you have ip addresses in this layer and so we'll come to know about these in detail as we go ahead with the course. So what here I want to show is this hypertext transfer protocol request. So basically it says we had requested for this particular website. Wireshark tells you that the response of this request was seen in the frame 2 to 3. So here are the frame numbers and let's scroll down to the frame 2 to 3. So what we expect to see there is there is another HTTP as we had seen earlier now this is the response to that request and there are a lot of frames that we see in between so basically all these frames have been received to complete this entire communication and so what does come in this communication here let's open open this packet and see what data was there so what you see here inside is actually the entire web page so it's the code of the web page the entire code of the web page that we had requested so we could look at it by right clicking on the web page and viewing the web page source so this is exactly what we had received from the server so this is how the entire web page has been sent to our laptop now how did this happen now before this entire response was received we see there are a lot of packets that were received so all these were small small packets which were sent here sent to the laptop and here they were reassembled using their tcp information some something like a sequence number we'll uh, learn more about it in the further course so this is how we can capture and look at live information on any of the laptops using uh, wireshark thank you